When Premier Lin Chun suggested last week that a nuclear reactor shut down for repairs could be restarted to deal with potential power shortages, he was bashed by DPP lawmakers. At a DPP Central Standing Committee meeting on Wednesday, President Tsai Ing-wen was reportedly angry with the internal disorder over the issue, leaving the Premier and DPP lawmakers to pick up the pieces today. The president didn't answer questions at a Dragon Boat Festival event today after apparently working up ahead of steam at the DPP party meeting on Wednesday. She reportedly asked Vice Premier Lin Xiao and her party's lawmakers why the executive and legislative branches weren't communicating. I think communications between the cabinet and the legislature are mainly handled by Vice Premier Lin Xiao and caucus convener Ke. I think they're both very experienced, and judging from their previous communication, I'm confident they'll coordinate their moves better in the future. The president yesterday reiterated her goal of a nuclear-free Taiwan by 2025 and said on her Facebook page that the government would not make people choose between power shortages or nuclear power. The cabinet, for its part, has already made several gaffes and policy reversals in its first 20 days, and at least one DPP lawmaker is losing patience. There's not enough communication among cabinet agencies or between the cabinet and the legislature. To be honest, people are disappointed because during Ma ying eight years, we laughed at them when they couldn't defend their policies or communicate with the people. But now, people are thinking that we're no better. In comparing the new government to Ma's administration, legislator Huang Weizhe was clearly warning the cabinet that its continued missteps may take a toll on President Tsai's approval rating.